Marcellino's Monastery, because this is where Marcellino lived as a little boy. His extraordinary story has been passed down from generation to generation to this very day. Inside the monastery, you may purchase booklets written in many languages, various souvenirs created by the local artists, and several photographs to choose from. What are you looking at? It's a book about Marcellino. You don't need that. We've heard the story a million times. This is where my story begins. It was here in the year 16, uh, I don't remember the exact year. What I do remember was that there was a war going on. The monks always came down from the monastery to bring comfort to the people. Oh God, my God, I look for you. My soul is thirsty for you. My flesh longs for Have like faith, the God, arid, God, deserted God. land without water. Let's absolve their death by thinking that they will live on. I absolve you in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Father, I'm only wounded. Well, then keep your blessing for when you really die. It happens to us all sooner or later. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, courage, brothers. May God be with you. Pray for us, Father. Do you hear that? It's a baby. Huh? There, there. But that's not possible. And this is me. Do you see where the baby is? Under the cabbages. Yes, I see. Pick it up. I don't want to. I don't want to harm it. Me either. Well, we can't just leave it here. But what about its parents? I don't know. What do we do under these circumstances? We can't leave it here. Take the feet. I'll grab the head. Yes. 
Yes. Careful now. Slowly. Slowly. Gently. Hello, brothers. What have you found there? We found this child here. A baby. You've never seen a baby before? In a cabbage patch? Certainly not. Neither have I. It was left here all alone. There was no one. What should we do with it? Give it to me. Give it to me. Children like me a lot. Oh, beautiful. We need to go and see if the parents of this baby can be found. Oh, beautiful. Let's take him to the monastery. See? He doesn't cry with me. Brothers, come and see! It is not true that a small baby can't understand anything. He understands. He just doesn't know how to speak. The reason I stopped crying was that suddenly I felt calm. The reason I was calm was that Brother Giocondo held me tight and it made me feel secure and comfortable. Open! Open the door, brother! Open the door, brother, doorkeeper! Uh, did he frighten you? Excuse me. Look! We found a little Why baby! Why are you shouting? I can hear. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not dead. Look at it. What says? Isn't it beautiful? Mm. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Mm. Let's go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Who is that child? Can you tell me where that child comes from? He doesn't have a father or a mother. Are you certain? We asked everyone about the baby. He was abandoned behind a house. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Tomorrow we'll begin the search again. Ask around, investigate. If we find that this child has no parents, we will have to find an honest man and a capable woman to be its father and its mother. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh. You see how it likes oh. me? What's that? Oh, Look at that. Child. Oh, a child, child of God. God. Oh, how God. sweet. It's Where does it come from? It's the from first the thing I remember seeing were the faces of all the monks. Some were smiling and some were not. Most of them had beards, but on top of their heads, it looked like they wore a soup bowl. If it's not a male, I cannot let it in. It's the rule. Now what do we do? Giocondo, so tell me, masculine or feminine? Ah, oh, well, I'm it's not true. sure. Mm, he's right. Our rules don't allow us to bring in the child unless he is male. Let's find out. Yes. What should we do? Shh. Look! He is a man. <laughs> then he can enter. Let's see if we can feed him something. Come on, eat something, baby. Ah, open up your mouth. Such Let a me tiny try. My mouth, fingers are huh? smaller. Here we are. <laughs> Look, see? See there? Children like me. Drink that. Drink. He's drinking. <laughs> the milk was very salty, but I drank it anyway, even though it didn't taste very good. <laughs> Taking it. <laughs> I guess. See what I have? Hey, why can't he come to me? He just ate. I'm taking him out for air. Who's that? My God, he's a little child. Look up at Teet. <laughs> I would like to see him. Put him down. Ah. Mm. All right. I'll let you see him. But be careful not to scare him. Gently. Ah, uh, look at those eyes. Gently. Oh, Lord, look at those eyes, go. eh? You can't leave without letting me hold him just once. You never know if tomorrow will be in paradise, eh? He's so ah, beautiful. even I at one time was small like that. And now I'm so tired. I'm so old and sick. You have been entrusted to find a home for the baby. Two heads can reason better than one. And remember, you must evaluate very carefully the seriousness of the people who are interested in taking home this baby. Our Lord has entrusted us. We have to watch over and decide for this baby. Uh, give him to Brother Strilone. Yeah. Here. Okay. And provided that you don't find anybody I soon, take the baby one. over to the convent. They are women, and yeah. perhaps they can handle this situation with a baby better than we poor men. I shall. Peace and goodwill. Peace and goodwill. May God assist you. Brother Giocondo cried because I was leaving. I cried too. I had made friends and now I had to leave. Hey, here's a gift. I'd like to send some flour back to your monastery as a homage. You see, I'm quite in your debt. 
As long as I'm under your protection, nothing bad can happen. You remember last year? That lightning that struck last year? Well, instead of falling and striking my house, by God's will, it hit my brother-in-law. It killed him, but he was very sick anyway, so you see, it was very fortunate for me. Uh, can we go? Of course. Come with me. Don't be embarrassed, Rosa. They're monks. Permit the monk's child to have a drink, all right? But why? Just do as I tell you. Fine. Let me. Uh, what gentle, a beautiful he's baby. Not used to it. Oh. God made it possible for us to find him under a cabbage. <laughs> Stop that silliness right now. Leave here and go right to work, you lazy good-for-nothings. All my boys work, even my three-year-old. They all work or else. Yours is a little boy, eh? Yes, yes. No, 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 no. She's a girl, she's a girl. A girl? Are you uh, sure? Mistake. Thank you. Very Thank you very much. I thought you said it was a boy. Good day. Huh? Are you all right? Hurry up, brother, and thank the Lord. God be blessed. I was very happy they took me out of that place. If I could speak, I would have told them that it's useless to try to get rid of me. Because what I really wanted was to stay with them. If only I could tell them, but I didn't know how to speak. Forgive us, sisters, but we must find a good mother for this baby. He desperately needs mother's milk, something that we cannot provide ourselves. Yes, it's very difficult, I would have to say, impossible for us to find woman's milk. With God's help. What is it you're trying to say? We thought one of you... Could give milk? Yes. What are you suggesting? We're nuns. You mustn't get upset. We just thought that women could feel so much, uh... We thought you could give milk if it was needed. Maybe one of you no, could... No, we're pure, virgins, and immaculate. Come along, sisters, let us pray. Holy Mary. Yes, Mother Superior. Pray for us. Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Mother Lost child! Who wants this lost baby? Who wants this lost no. baby? Who no. wants it? Be quiet. Don't say that. We're looking for the mother of this child. Or uh, even the father. Search for someone who could love him. Someone's coming. She looks like a real mama. She'll take him away. Hello. Look well at this little child. Yes. Does he belong to you? Uh, no. Are you certain? Perhaps you are mistaken. I thought perhaps he might be one of my sister's sins. Good day. If it was her sister, she would have said so. Shh! Here comes another one. Yes, come and examine this baby and, and see if perhaps it is not one of yours. How much you want for him? This child is not for sale. No? And don't insult us. We are looking for this child's family. Or a very loving family. Ah, uh, don't waste my time. All right, let's leave. All right, no one recognizes him anyway. Come on, little boy, let's take you back. You see? We returned triumphant. I was afraid I wouldn't see the monastery again. But now I was coming home. Thank God. I was afraid they gave the... No one recognized him. No one wanted him. We even showed him at the town square, but nothing happened. No one would take him. We tried hard. Uh, excuse me, but I think the only thing to do is to keep the child and make him a good monk. Yes, that's how I feel too. Is this the truth? Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. Good. Leave me alone now. I'll pray to the Holy Spirit to guide me with this problem.
Lord has enlightened me. The child will stay with us. <laughs> sins have you committed, Brother Trelawney? Oh, I've said some lies, with good intentions. Mm. And do you sincerely repent? I sincerely repent with all my heart. For penance you have to say ten Hail Marys, and then I will absolve you of all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Jesus be blessed. Amen. And what sins do you wish to confess, Brother Contrario? I've told many lies. I've lied to the miller and his wife, and I mistreated a woman and a gypsy. And you repent? Yes, I repent. Even if I did all this out of good faith. Mm. Say to any our fathers and Hail Marys, I absolve you of all your ah. sins in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, our Father, hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy, thy name. kingdom come, thy will be done. done. My brothers, I propose we make a sacrifice to the Lord our God to fast for the day so that the beautiful little child that we have adopted will grow up honest. Once he gathered up all of the game that he had caught, he loaded up his wagon and headed for San Francesco. A quiet man, he had special compassion for the animals, especially the meek. Particularly the animals he felt that had encountered many tortures in their lives. Oh, youth, do good and be badly slaughtered. During mealtime, Brother Sapiente always read stories. I really enjoyed listening to him. He always read about birds and other animals. the life of a monk was. Every day they woke up early, even before the sun would rise, and they would go to church and pray. Are you taking them with us? Shh. The angels help save us. The angels help save us. God, God come, come now to save, save us in all of your glory. Glory, glory, glory to, to the, the Father and to his Son. And the, and the Spirit of the Lord <laughs> Cause us, Lord, to remember How it was in the beginning Is now and always forever Hallelujah <laughs> Oh God, you are my God, the dawn My soul hungers for you Hallelujah Praise thy name forever Keep us from all temptation. At daybreak, they wake up again and return to the church. I have very many fathers, but no mother. Pretty, pretty little baby doll. This little child cannot be called little love or little baby doll. He's entitled to a Christian name. That's true. You could call him Orlando. That's my name. I give it to him as a gift, Father. 
I think we should name him Giacondo. It's a good name. Orlando is better. How can you compare the two? Uh, what's the name of today's saint? According to the calendar, Saint Marcello. Beautiful. From this day on, we'll call him Marcello. Make it Marcellino. He's just a baby. Dear Lord, we pray you to watch over this child. Please keep him in good health. While the brothers this were in prayer, a mysterious thing happened. I saw my real mother. She was a very sweet woman, but only I could see her. She would take me in her arms, and I could feel the tenderness and warmth of her caresses. It was a new sensation for me, one that I had never felt before. She was my mother. And she was the one who took me to the fountain that day to be baptized. Marcellino, I baptize you in the of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. See there? He's moving. Look, it's real. It's a real baby. Go sit down. <laughs> a miracle. A, a miracle. miracle. A miracle. But it's not a miracle. This is the child that the friars brought to my place. You told me it was a female. have passed and nothing had changed. The life inside the monastery was the same. The only thing that changed was that I had grown. And what letter is this? This is the saint that burned himself. Um, all over? He was burned alive. Can you tell saint me? Saint Lorenzo? Right. And what letter is it? L. Yes, very good. And what letter is this and which saint is it? It's St. Sebastian. Yes. Letter? S. S. Very good. You're doing quite well. Now, this other letter. Tell me what it is, the saint, and what happened to him. He's the one they put on the cross, just like Jesus. What's his name? Andre. Then the letter is? A. <laughs> Very good. Now let's do some writing. Yes, but just a little. Oh, and why just a little? Because I just wanted to ask you a question. Very well, but just a little question. What is it? Why was Jesus crucified? Some very bad men crucified him. But why did the men crucify Jesus? Because they were bad and he was good? Probably that must have been the reason. 
Then they were really bad men? Yes, very bad. That's enough for today, Marcellino. Why did God permit it? Permit what? The crucifying of his son. Because the Lord allowed his son to be crucified to purify the world of the sins committed by men. Even mine? <laughs> no, not yours. You are good. And Jesus smiles at you and protects you in all moments of your life. But he's dead. That's right, but on the third day he was resurrected. And he lived again and went to heaven to live with his father, understand? But why did he fake his death? Marcellino, it is a beautiful day today. Why don't you go outside and play? Enjoy the fresh air. Actually, I'd rather go play in the church. I felt more at home there. Marcellino! Where are you, Marcellino? Marcellino! 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 Ah, good, there you are. Yes, what is it? Here's a treat for you. It's a brown egg. You'll love it. It's still warm. Thank you, Brother Pepina. Are you sleeping? Look what I brought for you today. I have a brown egg with me today, and I brought it for you. Oh, how sweet. An egg. What a sweet boy you are to think of your old sick friend laying here. For soon I'll be in paradise. Not long ago, I was young, not tired and sick like now. You'll like it. You saw how it happened? Yes. A wagon was going by and some people were inside playing some music. He fell out and no one even noticed him there. Just wait. When they find out he is missing, they will come back here for him. Does this hurt? No. Let him stay with you. I want you to play with him until someone figures he's gone. Do you know any games we could play? What would you like to do? No, you 
You shouldn't touch that, Manuel. That is food for the monastery. The hen has probably laid an egg. Want to go and see it? I wanted to make friends with the other boy, but I didn't know the right words to say. Ha! Go away! You heard me! Ha! Ha! Go away! Go away! Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, you're scaring the chickens. They're all running away. I'm coming. I'm coming. Open, up. Open the door. Open the door. We lost a child. He must have fallen from our wagon. Calm down. It Did must have happened over the time. Oh, Manuel. 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 Oh, Manuel. You have oh, seen it. You got it. Oh, my goodness. Angel. Ah. <laughs> I don't think that Marcellino is doing well here with us. He is not happy because a child without his mother cannot be happy. For him, we're a dozen fathers but never a mama. I must admit, Marcellino always says to me, you're like a mama to me. He says you are like a mama, not his mama. Yes, but I love him like a true mother. Enough, brothers. Too much talk. It is true Marcellino is sad and we must amuse him. The Lord has willed him to us and therefore we are his family. I always try to prepare him some things that he will like, like sweets or some chopped up fruit. The fair is in our area next Sunday. Marcellino, would you like to go to the fair? Uh, who could take you? Oh, oh me. me. Marcellino, me. 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 Choose me. Marcellino, me. 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 Choose me. Shh. Silence. Brother Girlamo has something to say. Ch 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 choose me. to entertain the people. They're acrobats. Shall we look at the crafts? Look! It's Manuel! Marcellino, you're right. It is Manuel. Push harder! You can reach it! Come on, keep trying! What are they doing? It's called the Tree of Abundance. You see, it's difficult to get to the top, but if you can, you get to keep the good things in the sack. <laughs> Marcellino, I have to stop here and go and see this old man who wants to confess. You wait right here for me, all right? The beautiful young boy father, all dressed up like a monk. It is the first time I have seen him. Who is this charming young boy Marcellino. father? Marcellino. He lives with us. How dear he is. It was a beautiful festival. Everyone seemed to be having fun. But I couldn't help but feel out of place.
Oh, what a beautiful little monk. Come over here, come on. I give you an apple, the best I have. Thank you. You're welcome. In the name of charity, a piece of bread. You take it. Thank you. Will you bless me? I can't. Sorry. Have some fruit, my lord. Beautiful fruit, madam. Come and see. You there. Come and compare my fruit. Beautiful fruit. It's heavy. You want me to carry it for no, you? No. I had found Manuel, but I never saw him again. His work always took him to different and far off places. He and his family were wanderers. Meanwhile, I had to return to the monastery. The others tried to climb the Tree of Abundance, but Manuel was the only one that succeeded. How did he do it? No one else could, but he did. It was truly a miracle. He did not realize it, but it was a miracle. I can never tell him. will be our secret. You know, it was nice seeing him today. I wish I could play with him. Look, I caught another frog! Oh, what in the world is this? How did these frogs get in Ships? Little ships? Yes, little ships made with walnut shells. How impressive. What an imagination. Incredible. It was driving me mad. He had wrapped rags around the clapper, and I couldn't understand why the bell didn't ring anymore. It's becoming most impertinent. Ah, oh, no. These are harmless pranks. Let's be patient. He's just a child. He abuses himself. Remember, you were once a child yourself. <laughs> But we need to think about this philosophically. God be with you. But, oh, oh, God. God. This time has gone too far. Oh, you hurt. Uh, no, 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 it's nothing. Oh, thank yeah. goodness. Oh, laugh, laugh, you little rascal. <laughs> <laughs> the next joke may well be on you. <laughs> it was a summer, and Brother Giacondo and I were gathering blackberries. Oh, no. Look, our hands are filthy. It'll wash off. Yes, yes. Our lady is Jesus' mother. Is that true? That's right. You mean even Jesus has a mama? Yes, all children have a mama. Not me. For the children without a mama, don't forget there's always the mother of Jesus. Hey, who is that? Count. Open up there. The count. Open up. Open up. At the again. door. Open the, Open the door. door. Let them inside. Open this door immediately. I hear you. I'm Open coming. Once, I say. I'm not dead. Ah. 
have a mason raise this gate, or next time I'll have my soldiers remove it with a pair of swivel guns. Understand? Peace and goodwill. I have Peace no intention of lowering my head or dismounting when I come in. Actually, I expected a better welcome. Your visit here fills our hearts with great happiness. Ah. I want to embellish your church with the work of a great painter. I hope your monastery will appreciate that it costs a lot. We'll go into the church there and find the best place for this work of art. I don't want a nativity or a descent from the cross. There are too many here already. I want a maternity. There. Yes. There, a heaven of great purity. The virgin with a child. Yes. And what face will the virgin have? My late wife's. Uh. This is a portrait of my late wife, a pious woman. She deserves tribute. Very well. What else? We shall put a figure in the middle there, right there. And I, as the donor, shall have the honor. Meaning, it will be my face which looks towards the believers. Of course, this will all be done in the highest of taste. Since I am giving you this painting, I believe this is my honor. If any of you disagree, please say so. Good, we all agree. And who is this? A poor orphan. He's like a son to us. A fine face. Yes, Your Grace, you are correct. He has the face of an artist. I myself come from a long line. And then St. Lodovico, King of France in pilgrimage, was visiting... He was visiting the great sanctuaries of the world to hear the great words of Brother Egidio and decided to personally visit him. He had come all the way from Perugia. After a long trip, he finally arrived at the doors of the monastery. He arrived only as a pilgrim stranger, along with just a few trusted traveling companions. Put him in his room. He's asleep. Say your prayers before you go to bed. But can I say a prayer for my mama? Of course you can, Marcellino. Mother, I'm saying this mama, for yes. you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Ah, are you hiding there, curious fellow? Don't you know it's forbidden to see the painting before the Count? Sorry, I'll leave. No, stay. Come and take a look at it. Tell me if you like it. What is it? I don't see anything. Who is she? That is Our Lady. The mother of Jesus. She's very beautiful. Shh. Silence. I still have to finish painting her eyes. You know that Our Lady is also my mama? She is the mother of all children.
peace and goodwill. Ah, what happened to your leg? Gout. Truth is, I eat like a cardinal. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk to you. Uh, of course, come in. Uh, what a beautiful boy I saw the other day. Of course, I know it's not appropriate to take a child like a plaything. No, oh, that's right. A child cannot be a plaything. Ah, I didn't mean to imply he was a plaything. My apologies. But you think growing up here is such a good thing for a little boy like that? God sent him to us. No one wanted him, but here he was able to have a happy, peaceful childhood. And now... And now he has the right to a good education. And for that reason, I'd like to take him back. There is also the strong possibility that this little boy is my own son. Your son? Yes. I find that he resembles my first wife a great deal. He has her same beautiful face. Don't you think so? And everyone knows that my wife was with child when she was attacked on the way to the castle. I fought hard, but we never saw her again. You remember. You know what I'm saying is true. Yes. Of course. And that's why I have reason to believe the boy's mine. Only God knows that. What's really important is that I have a male child to rule over my domain. I'm almost 40 years old. If I don't have a male heir, my estate will be passed on to my cousin and his son. But you have remarried, have you not? Yes, but I'm afraid she's sterile. I want my son. Next to me. Yes, it's all right. Go and kiss the hand of the cow. Hmm. Are you frightened? I'm not some ogre in a fairy tale. Don't worry, I won't eat you. Would you tell me who those people are in the scene? Painted by this great artist. This one's you. Hmm. This one is Jesus. And this one is my mama. You heard that? This is a portrait of my wife. It is the voice of God that speaks through this child. This is a miracle. A miracle, I tell you. I found my son again. Listen, little one. If that's your mother, then I'm your father. Oh. Ah! Do be careful. No, it's fine. What's your name? Marcellino. Marcellino. Tell me, what can I do or say? Is there anything that you want? I want to ride on a horse. Ah, to ride a horse? Yes. He has led a rather simple life in this poor monastery. He knows nothing of the real world. Yes, yes. He will know then. I don't believe it. It's not the truth. It's a swindle. Don't forget, my brothers, that things happen, and often with good reason. I have to think of what's best for him. <laughs> what are you trying to say there? But, 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 what is it? Now listen to me. Let's try to think this over calmly. You all need to think about if we should send him away without his permission. I don't think that that's fair to Marcellino. I think... I think we should ask him. I think that is a wise suggestion. Then I'll go ask him. I'll go too. Me too, me too. But... 
Marcellino? Marcellino, wake up. Hey. Listen to me, Marcellino. The Count wants to take you to live with him at his castle. Is this something you would like to do? Do you understand what I am asking you? You will have lots of clothing and learn many things. But you will be very far from us. You'll be influenced. He probably doesn't realize the situation. How do we know he'll make the right decision? Let him speak for himself. Through his mouth, we'll hear the Holy Spirit. Marcellino, would you like to go with the Count? Yes, I would like to go there. But no, we Shh. can't let... We have to respect the boy's wishes. At the moment I was leaving, I began to wonder if I was doing the right thing. All the brothers seemed so sad at my leaving that no one even waved goodbye to me. But on the other hand, I looked forward to seeing my mother. A whole new world was about to be opened up to me, and that part was very exciting. Peace and goodwill. Peace and goodwill. Peace and goodwill. He didn't say goodbye to me. He was excited to ride in the carriage. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Listen. Listen. When you greet the Count, you will call him Father. And the Lady Countess you shall call Mother. We shall see how it goes. Come, kiss my hand. Come, kiss my hand. Do as you are told. Oh, oh. You should touch your mouth lightly, not bathe it with your saliva. But I want to give my mama a great big kiss. No, never. You have to wait quietly. You have to wait until you are kissed first. Do as I say. You must always do as I say. Do what you are told to, and I will see that you'll come to no harm. What are you staring at? Ah, behold the Count. Come along. Kiss the hand of your father. Good morning, my father. Good morning. Now go and kiss the hand of your mother. Go ahead. No, this is not my mother. No, 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 don't say that. Who, as you were instructed? He saw the uh, portrait. The portrait of the Virgin Mary. Her face resembles that of my dead wife. He has it in his head that that is his true mother. That mother is in heaven. This mother here is on earth. And she will love you like a proper son. All right, now go over it, kiss her hand. Go, Marjorie, go on. Come to me, my child. You needn't be afraid, really. Come here, kiss your mother's hand. No, you're not my mother. You haven't taught him very well. I expected better of you. I'll mend it, Your Grace. I told you how to behave. You must obey me. Do you hear me? Listen to me when I tell you how to behave. The rules are different than they were at the monastery. Now what is it? What's the matter? What's that? That's a suit of armor. Soldiers wore them at one time to save their necks during battle. What's inside? A bad man who eats children who do not obey. No, it's not true. Yes, it is true. And if you don't start listening to me, I'll send them to see you. Bless, O oh Lord, these gifts, which we receive through your generosity. O oh, trust our Lord. Amen.
<clears throat> you see what happens when you disobey the orders of the Count? You must eat here, in the kitchen, with these vulgar servants and maids. And no meat, only vegetables to eat. And I have to suffer too. I don't like meat anyway. Remember, boy, it is what the rich eat that distinguishes them from the poor. The rich only eat meat. And uh, the poor eat vegetables. The rich are fat, and the poor are skin and bones. Wouldn't you rather be rich? I want to be a friar. Keep me from temptation and deliver us from evil. Amen. Would you let me pray for my mother? Very well, but hurry up, you should be asleep. My mother, who art in heaven. That's not it. For the mother, the prayer is different. Hail Mary, I mother. I know. Very good. Then tomorrow you can say it. Now go to sleep. Agnes, can you snore? Oh, I don't snore. At the monastery where I was, all the friars snored. Did they? I can't sleep if you don't snore. What do you want me to do? I don't snore at all. If you don't snore, I can't sleep. You don't have the nails. I came here because I wanted to see my mama, but she's not here. I want to go away. Help me find the monastery. Very well. I won't go away. I'll talk to you later. I won't go away. Good morning, little Count. It's time to get up and go to the dressmaker. What? He's up and already out of bed. Huh. Hmm. Here he is. We found him. You should not go out alone. Why? At the monastery, I did what I wanted to. You're not at the monastery. Among other things, you're right next to a prison. Look there. That's where people end up who disobey the count. What's that? A cage. When a count punishes someone who disobeys or displeases him, he locks them up in there. Any more questions? And then what do they do? Die. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
We eat him, and we have a big feast. Venison is tender meat. Bravery of the hunters. Marcellino. Prepare the kill. I'm famished. <laughs> Marcellino. It's very good. And please taste it. Please, little sound. Please, sir. Be a good boy. Oh, just try a little. It's good. I'm sorry, sir. I've tried. I don't know what else to do, sir. You may leave and join the other servants. As you wish. Why are you not eating? He won't eat me. The son of a count eats meat and enjoys it. I know in the monastery you didn't. Here we do. Go ahead, try it. No, I don't yes. want it. No. Marcellino. I said eat. Marcellino. Little cat, you must go back. Let go of me. Leave me, Leave me alone. Leave me alone. He won't listen, sir. Uh. Don't worry. You won't get far. Hmm. That's gratitude. After everything you've done for him. <laughs> I ran away. But really, I didn't know where I was. All I wanted was to get back to my good friends, the monks. The trouble was, I didn't know how to get back to the monastery. And if I went back to the cat, I ran the danger of being put in the cage. Therefore, I decided to wait for night to fall and try to find it on my own. Horses rode by me, but I was too exhausted and sleepy to know how close they were. It was the rain that finally woke me up. They tried to find me with dogs. The dogs could not find me. You see, the rain helped me. It washed away my scent so the dogs couldn't smell me. The rain helped with the dogs, but I was soaked clear through to my bones. Help me find the monastery. the rain it fell last night? <laughs> There's a mountain of mushrooms. Too bad we don't have a sack. Ah, yes. 
Even if we had a sack, we do not have the time to... Help! Help! Uh, help me! I'm over here! Look! Marcellino! What are you doing here? Why aren't you at the castle? You're all wet, you're trembling. I ran away. I wanted to come back to the monastery with you. Father, we'll all pray for him. Everything is as it should be, Marcellino. Now rest. Have a peaceful sleep. Right away! Right away! Stall him at the door so we can hide the boy in the attic. Yes, Father. Let's go! Hurry along! We're hurrying! Hurry! Take him up to the bell room and hide him there. Quickly now, before they come in. Make haste! Let's all go into the church and pray for Marcellino. Manners, please, sir. Calm down. Now tell me what has happened. It's Marcellino. He's disappeared. We cannot find him anywhere. You're hiding him. Don't deny it. I'm not. Then open up and hand him over now. I will open the door. But in order to hand him over, he must first be here. Now wait here. I'll get the prior. You can ask him. Did you speak? Is that you speaking, Jesus? Would you mind making the wind stop? It frightens me. Thank you, Jesus. That's much better. Did you know my name was Marcellino? I got my name from the friars. There are so many things I want to tell you, but I know that that is in vain because you already know everything. That crown of thorns that they have put upon your head and, and the nails, do they hurt much? It is not important. You ask many questions, little one. What's done is done. We can't find him. He must have gotten lost on his way back to the castle. He must have come back to the monastery. I want to bring you something. Stay right here.
I warn you, you're obligated to report his whereabouts. You have entrusted him to the Count, and it is too late to change your mind. Reassure the Count that Marcellino is as dear to our hearts as he is to the Count's, and that prayer is the only weapon we have, and we must pray for his salvation. Yes, I am certain that the Count also prays for his salvation and wishes to find him. The Count intends to take him to Rome to meet the Pope for confirmation and to untie the knot of his estate. What I have here for you? Fresh bread. You didn't expect that, did you? Here. I brought it for you. Have some. Brother Papina made it. Take it. Oh, you can't. You have nails in your hands. I beg you to leave now and let us get back to our prayers. It is the best way to help Marcellino. Marcellino, Marcellino, wake up now. The Count's men have finally left. There's no more danger. I had a dream. No one will ever take you away from us again. Come on. That's right. That's right. Come on. Come on. Those friars are lying. We need to watch their monastery. We should send someone there to find out all of their secrets. I just don't trust any one of them. Hmm. Don't get upset. I shall not permit this personal affront.
Look what I brought for you. Bread and wine. Thank you, Marcellino, my little friend. You are a good boy. Thank you. From this day forward, you shall be known as Marcellino Bread and Wine. Marcellino Bread and Wine. It's wonderful. Enough, please. For pity's sake, give us a piece of bread to eat. Who's there? Two very hungry pilgrims. Just a moment, brothers. Enter. We'll do what we can. That's that. You're not from around here. We're from Gubbio. And where are you going? To Rome, to fulfill a vow. We promised the Virgin of Los Angeles that we would go on foot to the Papal Basilica, living only on charity the entire trip. You men are brave. The Mother of God saved a brother from the illness of stone. To live off the charity of our fellow man is a purpose that will honor you. Come along. It will be well thought of in the sight of God. Down, down, kneel down. Here, have some soup. I made it myself mm, and it's hot. It smells so good. Excuse me, friar. Do you live all alone in this monastery or do you have any guests? Why? Why? Because of that wonderful smell of bread in the air and this delicious soup, I'm almost tempted to become a monk and join the monastery myself. <laughs> Marcellino, where are you going? Look, Marcellino, you know that Brother Pepina loves you, but you must get well or you'll make me mad, huh? Now get back into bed right now. You're still weak. No, I yes. don't want to. I'm Marcellino Bread and Wine. Bread and Wine? What are you talking about, Marcellino? It's a secret. Between me and Jesus. What secret? They're the Count's men. The Count's soldiers here? Brothers! Help! The no, Count's please. soldiers are here! Help we must apprehend them! Please, don't hurt us! Oh, it's no, a no, mistake! No, I swear! No, get off us! Ow! Oh, I, I, it's please. a mistake! Ah. No! <laughs> We'll be lucky to get 20 days on bread and water for treating the Count's men like this. I'm tied them. But if we set them free, they'll return to the castle, and the first thing they will do is tell the Count that Marcellino is really here with us. No, no! Listen, you two. Are you willing to swear upon the cross and upon the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ that you'll say nothing to the Count? Yes, yes. We solemnly swear on the blood of Jesus and his cross. And may the hot flames of hell burn our flesh if we perjure ourselves. May Satan rip all our flesh off our bones. We won't say one word to the Count. Very well. We shall have to trust you. And from this moment on, the salvation of your souls are entrusted to your conscience. Brothers, untie these gentlemen. Thank you. You may leave or you can stay with us. No, no, we'll go away. We've caused you enough problems. I want to tie them. Obedience is the first rule. <clears throat> oh. Once upon a time, there were three evil thieves in the land. The three were all very evil. In order to be protected from the evil, the brothers all prayed for the Lord's protection. They gave the men food.
Continue, brother. And in this way, the brothers hoped that by giving them food, their love for God would grow. Many times they hoped that this would be the case, but the evil men never changed. Brother Theodore. They still wanted to devour the poor charity that had been bestowed upon them by God. Marcellino, Marcellino, wake up. Mm. Marcellino. Do I have to go up in the attic again? That's Indeed. right, but only for a little while. You'll be safer up there. Don't you want to go? Yes, I really want to go up there. Bravo. You must not be afraid. We will chase away all of them, and then when you come down from the attic, you will stay with us forever and ever. What do you think of that, huh? Those two faced beggars, when faced with the Council Wrath, have chosen the depths of hell. Come, Briar, don't waste time. Bring me the child. The Countess will be a good mother to him. A warm and tender mother. The boy will stay with us. You can't have him. Bring the child right away. I don't want to ask again. May I feel your hand? Hand. Do I frighten you? No. Do you know who I am? Yes, you're God. I repeat, sir, you cannot have him. I shall have him, Prior. Liberame domine de morte, liberame domine de morte, eterna in die illa funesta. Quando ceni mo vengi sunt eterna, tremens fatto sonego del pimeo, non discussio veneri, a tue ventura What are they doing? I don't know. This is all your fault. This can all be avoided, Prior. It's all your fault! Give me the boy! Save yourselves! Give me the boy now! Or you all burn! Everything is burning. The brothers are in the middle of the flames. I'm afraid, Jesus. Oh, my God. 
Thank you, Jesus. May I take off your crown? There, you don't have to suffer anymore. Can I hug you? And now maybe you could take me to go see my mama? Please take me. Marcellino has left us. He's gone to the heaven of his mother. Hurry up, children. The bus is ready to go. Hurry up. Come on, quickly now. The bus is ready to leave, huh? Hurry up, children. Let's go. Hurry up. And so, this is the end of my story. Sometimes sweet, sometimes wicked. Just like all fables. In all fables, there are some miraculous things. And in all miracles, there is always a little bit of make-believe.